by a special request. First, you start off with a cube. You scale it to look like a domino piece. I don't really know how those look, but finally. Uh, you go add a plane, so you can have a base or stuff like that. You put it under the piece, you scale it up. You may want to add a material to your domino piece. I put uh, the hex code 00CFFF, that's my favorite color. Uh, you move it kind of to the edge and uh, you duplicate it. Oh, before that, something important. You select actor, dynamic, rigid body, bounce and leave it to box. The, max, uh, the mass uh, might be something important, but not now. You duplicate it. Um, like this, shift D. You make a few uh, like this. Uh, you may want to go to wireframe, rotate the first one or any other one you want, so, and go to P or similar. Go into game, start game, like this. Uh, now, as you may have guessed, some of us want to record this make an animation or something like that render anyways you play back and you notice nothing has uh, been recorded you go into game record game physics to IPO and uh, simulate again you notice how this is going to be a little slow that's because it's capturing at about 60 frames per second thing to be normal now you play back and you notice it's recorded but heck, it's awfully slow. For that, you may want to go to NLA Editor, select all the diamonds, and scale it down, uh, scale them down to about 0.4. Okay, so we're done. Playback again. You see, it's in regular speed. Okay, um, you may want to do a render, or maybe something like this to do a, lo a logo, but not right now. Um, if you want to export the game to someone that doesn't have Blender, you go to File, Save Runtime, and uh, go to your folder where you have the game. You you give a name to it, like Game, uh, okay. But you need some files like AV Codec 51 DLL, AV Format 51, AV Util 49. Uh, P thread VC2, Python 25, SDL, and ZLib. I guess that's library. Okay, you save, uh, and you go to where you save the game. Uh, something like this, a, a game like this, unzipped, uh, has about 12 megabytes, so it's not really uh, mail friendly, but you may zip it up like WinRAR or anything else uh, and send it to your folks just to show off, you know. Well, that's about it. Uh, thank you for watching and I uh, hope I'll make some more videos soon.